What about RBY? RBY equals RB RAY. And what about RAX? RAX is the free end, so it doesn't feel any force. But RB is supported by the hinge. That's why at the hinge you feel the force. What's the negative direction means? It means that when you are spinning this, the force is in the, this direction because then there's a tendency for the bar to be moving away from point B, right? Because of this angular motion. You're trying to spin it. This is what we call what? Centrifugal force. Which is why the reaction at point B must be negative because the force is keeping this bar from leaving the center of rotation, which is point B here. That's why this force here must be negative. All right. And uh, force equilibrium, of course, will tell us that the Z direction for the, all the forces together, the Z direction, there's no acceleration in Z direction, but the force equilibrium will give us this. RAZ plus RBZ must equals to minus the weight, 5 times 9.81 must be zero. There's no angular ac linear acceleration in the z direction, but RAZ equals RBZ. So here, this is actually half of it. So you can find RAZ and RBZ. And RAZ and RBZ. The values are just one half of it, that's 24.525. Four. Point five two five Newtons. And it's positive. Positive means that it's pointing up because it's positive. Well, what else do we have to determine? We have to find out a y and from the y direction here we know that r a y plus r b y must also be zero. And before we also say that with r a y equals RBY. And this is from moment equilibrium. If X plus Y is zero and X equals Y, what's the values of X and Y? The only possibility is that they're both zeros. Would you agree? So in this case, we know that put this two together, RAX equals RAY, equals zero newtons because that's the only possibility then we have of course rb x this one is negative 250 newtons that's for rbx and rax will be zero newtons With that, we found six of them. Reactions at point A and point B. Okay, any questions on this? Now remember, you have six unknowns, so you need to use all six of them. The procedure here, the only thing you have to be careful is when you see the angular acceleration, some of you may wonder that what is the angular acceleration? I'm not provided with alpha. I'm not provided with angular acceleration. But if you know angular velocity, you can get angular acceleration by differentiating angular velocity to get angular acceleration. In this problem, we just simplify it by considering just a constant. But in other problems, this may not be the case. Okay. And uh, 
Any questions? Sir, I have a question. Yes. Could you please repeat again why we multiply the normal acceleration by a negative? Okay, this question is about why we say that the AX, AX, right? Why do we say that AX is negative omega squared times R? So why this negative sign is, remember, we talk about angular motion, uh, omega alpha. We talk about the tangential and normal components. When there is a rotation, the particle is spinning with respect to the center of rotation. This is the positive direction for tangential component. And the positive direction for the normal component is pointing to the center, correct? So this is the normal component. However, in our coordinate systems, what is the positive direction of X? The positive direction, this point is point B. If this point is A, the positive direction of X is in this direction. And the positive direction of Y is in this direction. If you take the top view of the problem, where's the bar? The bar is like this. So here, this is the direction for the positive component of the normal, positive direction of the normal component, but the positive direction of the X component is in the opposite direction. That's why you need a negative sign. Does that answer your question, Yeldon? Yes, that makes sense. Thank you. Sure.